I'm Lisa Winter, and this is the Confusion Vortex. So this is the shop where I build all my robots, and I want to show you all the tools that I use to build a robot. I've been building robots since I was 10 years old, um, so quite a while now. And I've competed in all of the robot wars and battle bots in the US ever since 1996. There's a lot involved in building robots. There's the messy side, the welding, assembly, bolting, cutting of parts. And then there's the clean side, which is more of the wiring, electronics, software, um, CAD design. So that's what I do in this room. This is more of the clean room. Um, and I do everything mainly at my desk. Over here I have the Rep2. This is the 3D printer. And it's really good for rapid prototyping and fast iterations. So if I, if I have an idea that I want to see it in real life, um, I can just print it out really fast and see if my components fit in it or if it's the right dimensions, et cetera. Um, so to, a good example is this bike attachment. Um, so I modeled this really fast because the original attachment broke, 3D printed it, made sure it fit. If it didn't, then I just fixed the model, printed another one, um, and now it sits on my bike. Now I'm going to take you into the machining room. So this is where all of the dirty work gets done, all the big machining, everything that's messy and grimy. Um, so first we've got belt sander. This is the band saw. Drill press. So that's like more inaccurate hole drilling. Um, if you want something accurate, we have the CNC. So this is a Tormach personal CNC. Um, and this, you put whatever you want, whatever you're milling into the uh, vise right here. And you can go in the XYZ um, positions. So side to side, front to back. Um, and then your cutter goes up and down in the Z axis. I will 3D model in Fusion 360. Um, so I'll make whatever bracket or, or whatever I'm building for the robot. Um, and then export that into G-code, which goes into this computer, and it tells the CNC what to do. So this has most of our other hand tools, screwdrivers, wrenches, clamps. Uh, we try and keep it somewhat organized. So this is my shop after about 20 years of accumulating tools, and it definitely did not start here. So I started with no tools, just in the basement of my parents' house when I was a little kid, um, maybe a Phillips screwdriver and a drill press eventually. So I wasn't even allowed to use electric tools um, until I was a lot older. Um, but don't let that stop you. You can really start with anything with just a couple hand tools, um, and you can build a robot. Thanks for checking out my shop. To see more robot and build tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Twitter, and check out my Instagram. This is one of the original ladybug shells for Tensumushi. Really? Tell me more. <laughs> uh, this is for the 60 pound robot, and it's probably, it's the last ladybug sandbox we know of in existence. They don't so make I, I could go out and buy one today? No. This that is the, sounds this, this unreasonable. This is the only ladybug left in the world.